Thank you very much, Peter. Um, well, uh, Anna and I today are here to present to you the Factory Resource and Energy Efficiency Toolkit. Uh, so this toolkit is a collection of tools that we've developed ourselves, but also tools that are also available um, uh, on the internet, or basically they're free tools, most of them. So it's very much about being dramatically more efficient in the way we run factories. So it's about creating more value, using less resources, generating less waste and less, um, less pollutants. Um, so if we all agree on this definition, I think we can start with the uh, agreement that we need to be more efficient. And uh, the way we organize the toolkit is around five elements. And those five elements are basically bringing uh, some bits and pieces of solutions to help companies engage with the co-efficiency. So the first element, A, is asking, what is your waste worth? And with this very first element of the toolkit, we try to get companies to learn how to see waste and to learn how to value their waste. The second element of the toolkit is, um, is asking, how can you do more with less? And this is about providing some solutions. So you can go from very specific practices that companies have done uh, to provide you some examples of what you can do in your own company. Uh, but it's also about providing you some more generic solutions through strategies and tactics. And I'll come back to that later um, to provide you some in inspiration to develop your own solutions. The third element of the toolkit is asking, what's the size of the price? So in this part of the toolkit, we start being a bit more quantitative and try to understand what is the size of the benefits, uh, what kind of targets you should be setting, uh, try to really get a, a sense of how important a coefficiency can be for you. The fourth element of the toolkit is where are you now? And this is why you try to understand at the moment how good are you doing in terms of a coefficiency, in terms of your performance. So here we have qualitative and quantitative tools uh, to help you assess this. And finally, last but not least, we are asking uh, where to from here. So this is what are the next steps? How do I make a coefficiency a systematic approach to the way we produce products? So now we're going to take you through more details into each one of those elements. Um, so first of all, what is your waste worth? So we know that the laws of thermodynamics are imposing some uh, efficiency limitations on how we convert products, uh, so natural resources into products. So therefore, we consider that waste are going to be part of normal practice. But I think most of the people in the room will know that we rarely operate all of our processes to the theoretical minimum, which means there is space for improvement. Um, and also the laws of thermodynamics never said that you cannot reuse your waste as a resource input elsewhere. So the first element of the toolkit is very much about learning to see waste, but also learning to see value in your waste. And Anand is going to give you a couple of examples on how you can do that. So uh, I just thought I'd put up a couple of images of um, bits that we've done uh, that actually were kind of based around the sensory experience of actually going around and touring around a factory. And, and I think, I'm, I'm sure most of you already know this, but I, I, you'd be truly amazed how much you can actually find that, uh, in regards to opportunities for resource efficiency without having to gather any data, without having to, by, by literally just touring around your factory and, and doing things like listening to where those compressed air leaks might be and, and, and seeing where there are, you know, process improvements that could be made. Um, I think one of the best examples of this actually, um, Craig from EcoPair, if you get a chance to speak to him about the Turbochino, I think, uh, I think it's probably the greatest coffee you'd have ever had in the world. So uh, worth having a word with him. Craig, I don't know where you are, if you stick your hand up. It's definitely worth having a word with him. So um, yeah, it's amazing what you can find without having to, to gather lots of data, I think. Okay. And that brings us to the second element of the toolkit uh, about how you can do more with less. So how do you find solutions once you have identified the inefficiencies or waste around your factory? Um, and here on this slide, you have uh, 1000 kilowatt hour, which is the name of the game that we've developed. Uh, and this CAD game includes a lot of examples of best practices, so practices that companies have actually made uh, to improve their resource efficiency. Uh, but the CAD game also includes things like barriers to improvements. So why improvements are not always happening and how you can remedy them. So if you're interested, please come at our stand. Uh, we have some of those car games. We can show you how it's working. We can even play it if you have the time. <laughs> um, so these are really specific solutions on how you can do uh, resource efficiency in your factory. But we also have things that are a little bit more generic and, and uh, uh, basically you, you can use those strategies as part of the improvement hierarchy. Or we also have tactics which are available on our quick guides, again, on our stand, but also on our website. So I would invite you to, to look at this. 
Um, so these are here to provide you some ideas or inspiration on how you can develop your own solutions. So um, now we've been talking about examples of practices and what companies have done. And that brings us to see what the size of the price and what you have at the top here are examples of practices, how often they've been implemented and what you can actually save. Um, and I will let Anand explain to you a little bit more about the quantitative assessment of how much we save. Yes, yeah, so, um, in regards to the types of practices and tactics that, that we have, um, they kind of tend to start at a plant level, um, so within facilities. Um, so, you know, what you can do is actually gather uh, any available kind of data that you have to make an initial assessment as to how much you could say, for example, from um, optimizing your power factor in your plant. Um, and this goes right down to the level of much more detailed where you have kind of your flows of of energy uh, going through your factory and, and resources and optimizing specific bits of equipment, so something like electric motors, for example. Um, so, so the idea is, is that you can, you can actually implement some of the practices and tactics that we have uh, at, at various levels of, of granularity across your factory. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So that brings us to the fourth element of the toolkit with where are you now? Um, so unfortunately, Lamprocitos is not with us today, but he's developed a fantastic tool um, which helps you do a qualitative assessment of how mature your eco-efficiency practice is. So basically, you will not need any data. You don't need to go around the factory and collect anything. All you need to know is what your company is doing at the moment. So you start to understand what the strengths and weaknesses are in your company, so where you have space for improvement. Um, but because today we have Anand, we can show you an example of the quantitative tools we have for self-assessment. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of take you guys through some of the different types of uh, analysis that we've, we've done uh, with some of our case companies and, uh, and some of our partners within the center. Um, so as, as I kind of showed you before, uh, with the types of practices and things, what we've done is we've said, well, we can start with very cursory uh, data sets and actually try to uh, build models based on appropriate assumptions. Uh, that you can derive from those. So those can be done at a kind of facilities level, so just looking at a single facility uh, and comparing production to, to the energy being used. Um, this is just electricity, but of course you could do this for gas, water, compressed air, whatever resources you're looking at. Uh, you can then go further and break that into facility zones, so splitting up into kind of your core manufacturing zones and then into the kind of auxiliary zones that you might have within your factory, so kitchens and uh, offices and, and other spaces. Um, you could then going kind of further into the detail um, of, of the, uh, the modeling aspect, you can then look at single utilities uh, within one of those zones to get a much kind of more detailed uh, idea for how things are, are performing. Uh, and you can go right down to the, the kind of manufacturing cell or single machine level. So you could look at the amount of production, the different types of production going through a single process to understand how uh, well it's performing in regards to energy and also in regards to the material flow and production. All right, so that brings us to the final element of the toolkit um, where we ask where to from here. Um, so for us, it's really important to understand that a coefficiency is not something you will just do once. Uh, it's not an add-on. Uh, we very strongly believe that a coefficiency is a way of making things. So it needs to be fully integrated in the way we uh, operate the factories. Um, so again, I think Anand's tool is a great example of how we can use those tools to guide you through going from quick wins to more advanced uh, more advanced activities to do eco-efficiency. So I thought I'd just show you a couple of examples of um, things that, that we've done where uh, this was for a single machine uh, for one of the, the case companies that we worked with um, and it was just an application of, of a specific tactic from our practice kind of library or our tactics library um, that was applied to it. We were then able to kind of scale that up across the whole scenario of their, of their shop floor so that we, we kind of understood what the baseline uh, or as-is performance was of the, of the whole facility and then we were able to kind of test uh, different scenarios to bring the uh, resource consumption down. And, uh, and this, just to give you an example, it's not a particularly clear graphic, I think uh, it needs to be darker, but that kind of goes through uh, all the different stages um, that, that you can see there from factory site level right down to uh, single machine processes. So we were able to, to run uh, these simulations at those different levels and, and actually model the different scenarios uh, within those. All right. So 
I think I'm going to summarize a little bit the toolkit so you understand um, how we're working with the coefficient C. So basically the first element of the toolkit is all about learning to see waste and learning to value your waste. So Anand gave a very good example with uh, uh, the factory treasure hunt, which sounds really mm. exciting, where you, you really use um, your senses uh, to really identify waste around the factory. Um, then we've seen the uh, second element of the toolkit, which provides some examples of solutions or some inspiration for your, for your company to develop their own solutions. Um, and this is why we have tools like the card game. Uh, again, I encourage you to come and see us to, to see the game and uh, maybe play it. Um, C is the size of the price. So this is very much related to what we've seen in the present, uh, previous presentations as well. Uh, it's very much understanding that the benefits are really significant. It's not marginal little improvements here and there. It's really making a big difference. So set very ambitious targets. The fourth element of the toolkit is where are you now? So this is where you make an assessment, trying to understand the current status of a company, uh, what are the spaces for improvement, and what are the biggest opportunities for improvement. And finally, where to from here? How do you make a coefficient systematic in your company? Well, thank you very much for listening to our talk today, guys. Um, we're at, we've got a stand over in the exhibition space, and uh, we've got the card game, and we've also got a series of different posters from members of the team. So please come over, say hello, and uh, yeah, come and play the card game with us. Yeah, and if you're interested, please leave us your contact details. So we have a little box on the stand table. So give us your business card so we make sure that uh, we keep you in the loop uh, with the developments of the toolkits. Thank you.